Once I woke up, I ran up the stairs and started the mission. First off, you're gonna want to hit a screamer so you can get the chase started. Once you get the chase started, you're just gonna want to keep moving. Like, um, it's really important that you keep moving in this game. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna skip straight over to chase level four so that we can get into the action, guys. Once you get the chase level four, you gotta start being cautious and um, use all your abilities to their fullest. I max out on everything in every way possible. You want to make sure you're quick about it so that you don't get killed by the zombies while doing it. By throwing down these UV lights, it gives you the perfect amount of time to use your power-ups. Make sure you're consistently moving while doing so. You want to make sure that you don't use your immunity boosters because you have UV lights and you want to just throw down your UV lights to uh, regenerate your, um, your immunity. This will make it to where you have four uh, really accessible power-ups that you can use, uh, so it gives you an extra power-up overall so it can make you uh, faster or stronger whatever you choose you can even choose to um use the poison power up and that helps a lot because uh, you can see i'm taking poison damage right now it's all up to the user but this is what i choose to use because it works best for me as you can see i'm just slaying these zombies right here with these power ups Side note for the people that want to collect trophies, make sure that you throw down a UV light before trying to pick up any of the trophies off the ground, especially on level 4 chase. You're also going to want to make sure that you have your best weapons in the game out, um, because this is the hardest thing that I've accomplished yet in this game. My favorite technique is to try to like train the zombies kind of like you would in black ops zombies and then you're gonna want to like straighten them out to where um you can get some height and then finish them off like this. Good try buddy. As you can see, I made a couple mistakes here. I should not have searched these guys at this moment. I ended up getting tackled and then um, swarmed by a bunch of Vertile. And luckily I had good equipment to get out of it and a good um, backup plan to where I was going to run if this did happen. Never get overconfident when fighting these guys. They're really strong and they actually spawn really fast on you. When you're standing off zombies, just like I did there, make sure you always have an escape route just in case things get rough. That's probably help us see, yeah. You always want to make sure your flashlight's on. I forgot to turn my flashlight on at the beginning of this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, because the flashlight only attracts zombies, and we're already in a chase anyway, so you might as well have it on to be able to see where you're going. When you throw your UV lights down, make sure you're not too close to like a tank or a car to where it's gonna like fall underneath it because then the light doesn't um, expand far enough. Uh, I got attacked really bad right here because of it. They almost got me. Oh. Really, I'm back. I bet you I can make this all day. This is gonna be easy. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> At this point, I start using a lot of grenades because I want to get a lot of XP for um, combat. I also use grenades to keep the enemies pushed back a little bit and kill some of the enemies off of me. I accidentally ended up climbing up into this spot and ended up being a good spot to um, refill my uh, upgrades and actually fight off some of these guys. No way did I just find this. They can't get me in here. The spot actually ended up working out really good for me. Um, you could probably come here and fight them off if you guys are lower levels to try to upgrade your um, strength and stamina. If I were to throw a UV light down right now it would be perfect but I ended up not choosing to do that. 
Um, I got tackled by this zombie right here, and I ended up tossing a grenade, so I had to dip out. Oh no, oh no, go, 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 go. I have maxed out grenades, so you gotta be really careful when you throw them. I also maxed out my health and my stamina. Um, I actually have a um, video coming out how I um, glitched out the um, game to be able to get my maxed uh, health and stamina just by opening up one um, inhibitor crate. Everybody that likes and subscribes will get a notification when I post the video. As you can see, I've been throwing grenades straight into the ground. It actually works really good when you're running away from the zombies. If you look up in the right hand corner, you can see my points going up. It's still continuing to hit them even after I'm all the way over here. Grenades are going to be one of your best friends while on the run. If you guys aren't trying to find spots to stand them off, you might as well be chucking grenades. Um, just make sure you time them uh, out to where you don't miss the uh, enemies. These yellow jump pads can be super clutch in this game if used right. Earlier in the video I used them too to reposition the zombies to kill them. As you can see it can be pretty hectic. I'm really cutting through these zombies by like a hair and I'm just barely getting by them. But um, if you guys do it correctly you guys will be able to stay alive for a long time this way. My grenade started blowing up underneath me, so I had to climb up this wall and jump over it. It's me, Mario! Oh, I barely climbed over that bomb. Idiot. Oh. 
I ended up getting an insane amount of points at the end of this. You guys have to stay tuned to see how many points I got. It's insane. Make sure to take advantage of all your upgrades and power-ups and um, gliders and work super well to get away from zombies or to create distance in between you guys. Um, if you use them at the right time, they're super clutch. Also, um, you guys want to make sure that you're jumping and running off walls and cars and objects as much as possible. Um, you can actually um, just jump past the zombies as you're running past them and it actually gives you like a, a lot better chance of not getting hit by them. Oh god. So guys, we're gonna default code. I'll end you. Why are they just coming up right here? We're gonna learn a lot. Oh no, we're in trouble. Why are they not spawning in? Hey, what happened? So I just messed up. <laughs> I know I got this at first try. I got this. People think it's so hard to stay alive at night. Oh no. I'm so lucky that that had me on the ground. For some reason when you're on the ground, when your grenades go off, it doesn't hit you. If they Only if they attack, attack on you. If you guys are a lower level, you guys could stand here and spawn trap um, on uh, level ch or chase level four and actually build up your combat and trophies like crazy. You get a lot of purple trophies doing this. If you do try to find this place, just look for the big glass window that I ran up and just run up here. And um, once you find it, mark it on your map or look at the map to figure out where it is, and then you'll be able to come here. Oh, you jumped right over him. This is the first time I found this place, but um, this actually, the chase actually started to end, so I had to run down and just swoop around real quick. If I wanted to, I could run back up there and just keep um, training the zombies up there and killing them and getting uh, mad trophies and mad points. But I'm gonna keep moving because that'd be cheating. Wow, these guys are spawning in super fast. This is a good example why you don't want to stop and you want to keep moving in this game. Um, you gotta find a good spot to stand off the bird tile if you're gonna do it. I stopped here for a second and got tackled.
we're getting so close to the end here guys so i'm going to show you guys a couple more tricks here um that help me uh get away from the horde this part gets pretty wild right here let's <laughs> get tackled by like a here at once <laughs> this dude has a mean right hook. That's how you know these Vartal are strong, because I didn't do no damage to him, like, at all. I didn't even get a quarter of his health. It does nothing to him. What are you guys doing? As we're getting closer to the end here, guys, I want to thank you so much for choosing us today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to subscribe to get notified when we put our next video out. Thank you so much, guys.